Hello and welcome to the bathroom. Again, again. It's Tuesday at my place. And I actually had a change of plans. I was going to do an all yucky shave today with a very mentholated soap and a very mentholated splash. Unfortunately, I've got a cold. And so much so that no menthol is going to pick through. And so a lot of the scents, which is why I do it, will sort of not get through. Uh, and only the cold will, so from the menthol, obviously. But So I was like, okay, is there a soap you haven't tried out yet, haven't reviewed yet? Which, you know... It's less of the uh, sensible nature, in, uh, loads of sense. And yes, there was one. One I have not showed you yet. This one. Mitchell's Wool Fat. It's a hard, very hard puck. My first hard puck, to be honest. And where did I say? Well, this product is not tested on animals, so it's nice and good. And it's actually, it says here on the side, I don't know if you can actually pick that up. Uh, right here, it says that it is gentle, smoothing, shaving soap is especially suitable for sensitive skin. It doesn't have a... Um, a lot of smell, a lot of scent. To, and it's it's how it comes in this wrapped. It's pleasant. I don't know. I kind of get the sense of something soft when I you know smell this. Kind of citrusy and yet not at all. But it, it's kind of difficult to describe. It, perhaps it's its own scent. What I've done is that I've actually I don't know if you can see it, but I've scraped something off, and I did test lather it uh, a couple of times. So it's not the amount that's missing here. It's not the full amount that I have been using. And I have scraped off quite a bit. Um, Mitchell's Wolf Fat comes in this package. Uh, you could also get one where it's uh, in, you know, it's, its own container where you could uh, lather up from there. But right now, it... I don't know if you can tell if I skip it anymore, it's going to skip over. Anyway, it's been blooming in uh, hot water for about five ten minutes now so and we'll see how it goes because my water that i've got here ah oh, my eyes <laughs> so if i'm off that's the cold talking the water that i've got here is very hard uh, very harsh so and one of my my research online says that then the mitchell's wool fat is going to very be very difficult to lather up so we'll we'll see that I'll be using this brush with which has quite a lot of backbone to it it's my Frank shaving it says here on the bottom I don't know if it's it, if it picks up at all uh, brush it's called G4 a generation 4 knots which means that it has got quite a bit of, 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 of scratchiness even though it's still soft and quite a bit of backbone as well that's going to soak cold water. Now the razor is going to be the yucky beast. Look at this. This will bite you if you're not careful. Three pieces like that. And the blade. A Yin Tao double edged razor. Now, this is just the cardboard. I have two days of growth. You can just slide them off. I don't know if I can, if I fail now or what. I do fail. I'll come back this way. There you go, it's coming out. Come on, why won't you? Get out of the package. There you go. I was there. All right. 
put this one back. Mm. Oh, double wraps. Very, very nicely. Now the thing about this, these blades, they are very are alongside Wishy Mueller blades that I have. Here we have it. There's this uh, 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 glue residue, and the other side, nothing as well. So it's unbranded. This razor is very aggressive. Now you see it where the blade is. I don't know if you pick it up, if you can actually see it or not. I'm taking this on the phone. There's a little bit of overhang to be aware of. Anyway, I will use, I'll just wet the face. I'm living <clears throat> a lot of people are sick right now just common flu cold as I have nothing COVID really so I'll use this soap that is has been pre-shaving in soaking sorry there's a there's a sort of a pre-shave has a nice scent to it um, I've never bloomed the soap before. I don't think you have to use uh, water in order to get the soap to, to work. Anyway, I do need a bit of menthol, so I will be trying out Colossal Green. My nose is picking up a bit of the menthol, so perhaps I would have been able to succeed with the other shape. But we'll just go along with this one now and you know, simply skip the other one till first day. Okay. So. Now for the lathering, <clears throat> and I might speed things along because I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if I um, have to give up or what. So I'll just there's a bit of water left. I don't know if it picks up or not. But kind of, I cannot tilt the uh, the bowl any longer. It will get out. Brush, flick it once, twice, and we will get to work. I'm not dripping any longer. It is creating something. So, is it the same way you are? are? People starting to get a lot of common cold and flu and, and whatnot. Okay. <coughs> it is so right here where I'm at, as I did say. Sorry. I intended to call in sick today, actually. But then, when I got up this moment, I was actually, I was so tired and disoriented because of the cold and I have been, you know, I've been sleeping very badly that I actually forgot. It was only when, you know, the time has, you know, an hour later, I was like, oh, man, you're feeling bad. Good thing you call in sick. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. 
Oh, you idiot. Now they're expecting you to show up. You kind of have to now. So, anyways, it was a short day. Had to get the kit to a dentist and so on, so on. So, I'll I'll shut up now in in case I have to speak things along. Okay, actually you don't need to. It's I, I would say it's it's <laughs> it's working very good. So just as long as you bloom it, it doesn't matter if you've got very hard water, harsh water, it will lather up quite nicely. Uh, and usually people just uh, pick up soap from the puck and then face lather, but I'm not doing gonna do that. To me, it messes things up. I have to leave the soap in order to to get it to dry out and stuff like that, and I don't like that. So. Oh, I can see I, I've picked up way too much soap. It is exploding with lather in here. And it is actually time and fine. Look at this. Look at this. This is the peaks. It's time. It is time. Let's see how this performs. Nice, thick, nice, very, very slick, so it seems. Listen to this. Someone told me, or that uh, told me, it's the cold again. Someone asked me, not reason, not, not, oh, whoa, I'll try it. Someone, not too long ago, asked me, what's your favourite brush? And I had to say it's actually a tie between two brushes. This one, because of the long handle and the very nice knot, which has quite a lot of backbone. And... A Yaki brush, which is called the Yaki Mocha. Which is kind of a, a small handle, uh, same size knot, but quite softer. So both kind of worlds. A mixture of those. Now I will need this, this thick lather to protect me from the beast. Which is, it is called the beast, by the way, if someone is wondering. Now, I have not shaved with the Mitchell soap before, wool fat before, never. So this is the first time ever using, whoa, slickness, nice. Um, didn't even have to wet my hands there. So, I'll wet that razor. And I used cold water to soak the brush. I didn't add any. I use cold water to wet the razor and the blade and warm water to soak the beast non-adjustable first pass with the growth listen to this takes it right off nice sort of softness on the skin afterwards
Now the blade seems to be doing a good job. I have not tried it in the Beast before. I have tried it in, in one of the others. That seems off. Did I just make it crooked? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, lost it. It'll grow up. Now, this razor. is set to be just below the R41 in terms of aggression. Now, I don't know, personally, because I don't own an R41, so I cannot tell you, but this is aggressive. We just have to see. How do we do? Nice. Do not try to get the syrup in your mouth, man. It's not pleasant. It will ruin the experience for you. Just a bit. But some soaps actually taste quite good. Don't eat your soaps. Daddy, what's for breakfast today? Well, we're going to have a slice of the Parasso Green today, son. Oh, how come not the red one? Sorry. <sighs> so far, so good. Second pass, across. And I go this way. That's my way. <laughs> sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry, it must be the cold talking. Clearly not me.
They did give me there. Oh, it did get me good there. Oh. Must have been on the first pass. Hmm. I usually don't get any any cuts on the first pass. But that's just to show you how aggressive this thing is. Now. Besides, if you've got any illnesses at the moment, any calls, stuff like that, that you're struggling with, have you ordered anything? I have. I've ordered a Parker variant. It's in the mail. It's arriving tomorrow. Or tonight. And I will do an unboxing for you. If you're getting issues and getting close enough, then try a bit of, of skin stretching. That has helped me out quite a bit. I do the same thing, but almost. That's when I... Do a straight razor shave. Okay. Whoa, what did I cut there? Damn. Hmm. Might have been out of pressure there. Oh, anyway. extreme quiet down ah oh, it's a pimble that's why it's acting up like that there you go got it so The soap is doing a very good job. The yellow will sting on this one, that's for sure. 
good. Well, let's see. Hmm. Seems nice. Seems good. Seems close. What else can I get? Oh, it's really good. So, I'll bring you back for the post shave. I'll get rid of some stuff. back I don't quite know what I hit there but it kept bleeding and I uh, it's not stopped completely but it's progressed down it certainly wasn't the racer's fault it wasn't the blade the blade did fine every other uh, place on my skin where I usually can get irritation or nicks nothing slack tingling right here but otherwise it's great um, quite nice shave Soap this as it was supposed to. And now for the real post shave burn, Floyd Bigrosso. I actually added a lot of menthol to this because you know, I like menthol. You should know me by now, those of you who follow. A bit more for the neck for the real burn. Now comes the menthol burning, that is, whoa, whoo, that's hot, well, that's it, Little Wolf Hat did its job, fantastic shave soap, like a pillow on your face, the menthol is kicking in, so that's kind of difficult for me to say, I'll speed up, the Yucky Beast did its job, BBS shave, great job, did cut me here, but that was my fault. Uh, the Yintal razor blade also worked its charm, and the album block saved a bit of my skin from bleeding out. <laughs> Frank shaving brush, nice backbone, very soft still. Worked up a wonderful lather of the Mitchell's wool fat. I think that was it. Fine shaving ball, always good. I hope that's it. I hope you're enjoying yourself. And I'll see you in a couple of days on Thursday. Goodbye.